Hello, welcome. I'm Emily. This will be an intro for a new project. Uh, I have done this project before. This project I have done before. Uh, you can see on the title it's um, Partners in Cream, created by Steph and Alin. But I haven't done this project with this um, theme. <laughs> uh, it's a lip theme this time. And <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold still. <coughs> and um, I have done lip projects before, but it was a couple of years ago. And what I did last year and the year before, I think, I spread out the lip products in different projects. But this year I'm not going to do that. I'm going to collect every lip project into one. And if you follow me closely, you know, I have a couple of lip products in other projects. One of them... I'm gonna um, take from the other project, it's Fifty Shades of Green, and put into this project. And the other thing that I have a usage goal on, I have to look which project that is. Uh, it's from It's Pan and Cats and Dogs. It's gonna be still there, because I only have a usage goal, so it's... It's gonna be there. And that is this Elizabeth Mott Lip Lacquer in Classic Red. This is in for 10 uses in that project. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick two lipsticks, two lip balms and two lip glosses. And then we will see if I'm gonna uh, refill this project before I end something. We will see because I don't know if the colors suits for that long. Uh, I tend to wear warm tones rather than cool tones, but in the winter time I think cool tones works fine. I have one of the products on my lips right now. It's uh, I just dotted it out on my lips. It's a lip gloss. Yes, it's a lip gloss. It doesn't gloss that much, but it's so pigmented and it's the oldest lip gloss I have. It's in from Steve Le Laveron, this one. And it's in the shade Red Dress. And I'm going to aim to use this up. This is a very messy lip gloss. You can see there. <laughs> and I think I'm mostly going to use it at home. Um, it works fine, but we will see if I can stand it. I used up one of these um, last year, I think. It was a purple one or was it the year before? I don't remember. That was easier, but not easy. And um, this is very, if you dot it out like I did it today, it gets a bit patchy, so it's hard to use. And it like floats out a bit. But for usage home, I'm going to try to use this up. The other lip gloss I have is from Gloss, not Gloss, Colourpop. It's the Ultra Glossy Lip in Space Maker. I have no glasses on. And you can see that my uh, lip gloss has look is looking pretty strange. And I think it's from last year. No, 2021. I bought it in the... Um, later part of 2021 so it's not that old it doesn't smell bad or anything it works fine and I like it a lot but I have had my lip products in front of my window in the sun so I think it's the sun that has done this um, miss discoloring this <laughs> like yellow toned but it works fine and it's a lovely color. So because it is discolored, I'm going to aim to use this up too. Uh, so it won't go bad or something. I have one more lip gloss that looks like this. So I will probably pick that next. Um, yeah. So two different colors. But one I can wor work on at home and one I can work on outside. Uh, if I wear the red one like this, it's fine, but that was kind of hard work to get it like that. The two lip balms, one of them I already told you about. It was 
this from the project Fifty Shades of Green and I just move it <laughs> to this project just to keep it together. It's the Catrice Restoring Overnight Lip Mask with Lavender Oil and Shea Butter. So this I use at night. It goes kind of slow because I only use it once a day. The other lip balm I have is from Catrice. Lots of Catrice here. And this is lip the tint tinted lip glow balm it says um, and now I can see the color no it's it has no color it's like one color fits all uh, and it looks like this it's like one of my oldest lip balms and it is my oldest lip balm and it is like a transforming lip balm so this color is fine, but on my lips it gets very pink, very pink, so I don't like it that much. But I'm going to use it at home and it's it's fine. So it's, I didn't show you, I have this much left. I haven't used it that much, so it wasn't that much in this, but I have used it. So maybe I have used up a bit. I'm going to measure this, these and weigh them and everything. This I only used like six times maybe, and this maybe like four times or so. And this I have worked for for a while. And then the two lipsticks. <laughs> this was the hardest one to pick. I picked two, almost all of my lipsticks are old. So I picked uh, one from Ultimate Color in what does it say in a rose garden it's also from, from catrice um and this is a nice pinkish kind of <laughs> shade not that pink more of a nude pink but i hope i'm gonna like this i have used it but pinks on me gets very pink, so we will see. And the other one is also pink, so maybe I'm doing something bad here. But it's winter time and I can always pause these and bring in something warmer. This is from Givenchy and this is called uh, Rose Taffetas. It's the Le Rouge Givenchy. I have one more and that is matte. And it looks like this. The, it's very fancy. <laughs> it's like like that. And um, but this is more of a warm, cool or warm. I don't know. Uh, they they are two different pinks anyway. So I like them both. I think. So that is my goal. Last year I used up three lipsticks. So I hope to use up four this year or something. I don't know. But that is my uh, start of this project. And um, hope it's going well. And hope you enjoy to see it. Have you tried any of these lip products? Maybe the uh, Colourpop or something else, please. Write it down below and say what you thought about it. And um, please subscribe. If you don't, I would be very happy, happy if, if you did. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.